Hello, you gorgeous individuals, it's Kav here, and today I'm going to be starting a brand new series on my channel. Anyone who has followed me for even a second will know that one of my biggest goals in the book community is to talk about diversity and talk about real issues. Whereas I do have a diversity playlist on my channel that I will link below and link up here where I have kind of sporadic diversity videos as issues come up in the community or important days come up in society in general. I kind of wanted to find a way to incorporate diversity into something more organized than just the random sporadic videos that tend to come. So I came up with a brand new series called Diversity 101. The entire point of this series is to kind of educate you all about diversity because I know that many allies and many people in general want to help out with diversity but they don't really know where to start and it is somewhat inappropriate to go around just asking marginalized people to educate you when you have so many resources on the internet but I thought that since I have the ability to I could be a resource for you all so that you know you have someone you can talk to someone who has had personal experience with this to be there to educate you to the best of my ability before I even go on with this series or with this video I want to put in a disclaimer that I am one person I can only speak for my experiences and the experiences I've heard friends and family members tell me I can't speak for everyone's experiences diverse people are not a monolith no one group of people ever is. So the point of the series is really just to give you as many basics as I'm capable of from where I'm standing so that you all can, to the best of your ability, contribute to helping out diverse people. Now, even if you are a marginalized person, you probably have some sort of privilege and you could use some education on that. Or maybe you just want to hear someone talk about diversity to see an experience that might be different or similar to yours. So I think that this series will be beneficial to everyone and hopefully it'll be beneficial to myself because you all might have some more information that I myself don't know that you will be able to comment down below so I think that this will be a good experience for everyone anyway that was the longest intro ever so let us jump into the video this first video is kind of going to be concentrated on the big question of what is diversity and what is representation because we talk about the two a lot but rarely do we actually define them for people who don't know what they are as a very 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 short one sentence summary diversity is essentially variety and when we're talking about representing diverse people and including diverse people people in your books and in your forms of media, essentially what people are saying is that you need a variety or various different types of people. For example, having people of different races, different religions, different genders, different sexualities, etc. There is an entire list of this. So diversity essentially means variety. Representation, on the other hand, is the portrayal of something. So when someone is being represented, what is happening is that their identity is being shown in that form of media. I want to clarify that these two things are different. You can have diverse characters in your media, but they may not be represented. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't have diverse characters, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you have to be all or nothing, but they are different things, and I want to clarify that because people conflate them all the time, and I know I'm guilty of doing that myself quite often, but the two are different. They're not the same thing. They are different words for a reason because they mean different things. When we talk about diversity in media, what we're basically saying is that your media needs to be more realistic. Anywhere you go in the world, you are going to see different types of people. Even if you are in a quote-unquote rural town in the south, you are going to see different types of people. Now, certain places are more diverse than others, like California is probably more diverse than a rural town in the south, but that doesn't mean that there are not diverse people in those rural towns. No two people are ever the same personality wise or appearance wise and often this also extends to their identities so trust me when I tell you that wherever you go you are going to find diverse people even if it's one person of color in ten they still deserve representation and they still need to be in books now as I said you can have diverse characters in your books without having representation having a diverse character is having a brown person in your books but if their culture isn't talked about and if their background isn't talked about it really isn't representation though that character is diverse they're not being represented their identity or their culture is not being 
portrayed. This does not mean you should not have diverse characters in your book, even if they're not being represented. For example, and this is just for me personally, I know that if a white author and a marginalized author were both writing books with people of color, I would expect that the work of the marginalized author would be representation, whereas the work of the white author is more likely than not just diversity. And that doesn't mean that the white author should not be writing the people of color characters in their book, it just means that it won't be the same as what the marginalized author is doing. Now this does not mean that privileged authors do not provide representation because some of the best representation that I have seen has come from privileged authors. And while we're talking about this, I think we also need to talk about what privilege and marginalization means and the difference between the two as well. If you are a white aloe cishet man, that means you have privilege. If you are a black queer woman, you don't have the same level of privilege. However, most of the time, people do not fall under every aspect of every category. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but the majority of the time, people tend to have parts of them that are privileged and tend to have parts of them that are diverse. For example, I am brown, but I also have financial privilege. So I'm marginalized in my skin color, but I'm privileged in my financial situation. So rarely does someone fall under either umbrella entirely. I think that a lot of times, in this community, we try to separate the two. I've acknowledged this in a previous video of mine, but I find that a lot of times we try to separate the two and make them two different things and you can't necessarily do that because there are so many nuances and intersectionalities that come into play when we're talking about diversity. You can't say that marginalization and privilege are opposites because rarely is someone entirely one or the other. Now getting into representation, the difference between the diverse person of color character and the represented person of color character, for lack of a better term, is that the diverse person of color character is just a brown character. Their culture and their identity is not being showcased through whatever form of media they are in. On the other hand, the person of color character that is representation has their culture and their identity as a part of their storyline and that plays into their storyline and that plays into their journey and there is a difference between the two. Because the diverse community has slowly started getting bigger and bigger, it's not giant yet but it is slowly growing, many content creators want to have diversity but they want it for the wrong reasons. They want to have diversity to be able to check off the checklist of having diversity. They don't do it because they genuinely want to represent someone. And what I'm going to say right now is possibly the most important thing I'm saying in this entire video. Diversity for the sake of diversity is not representation. If you are just including diversity in whatever your media is because you want to appease the social justice warriors, then that's not representation and that's really barely even diversity because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. And I cannot stress that enough because it is obvious when a content creator has just included diverse characters because they wanted to check off a checklist. And it is obvious when a content creator has included diverse characters because they actually want to represent them. You might not think that it's obvious because you might be sitting in a different seat than I am, but trust me when I say that marginalized people can tell the difference when they're consuming your stories. Representation occurs when a content creator puts in the effort. They do the research, they hire people to help them out, and they give them pay for the help they provide them. By this, I am talking about sensitivity readers and those types of people who will be able to help you out. Because if you don't put in the effort, then you're really not representing anyone if you didn't even try. Now talking about trying, I also want to acknowledge one other thing. There is a difference between trying and messing up and just being an asshole. Trying and messing up means you put in the effort but you messed up, which I myself have done and I'm pretty sure every single member of this community will tell you they've done that too. But just being an asshole means you don't even put in the effort and you don't even want to try. In my one and a half years in this community, I have never once met someone who hasn't messed up in some way. But what you do when you mess up is you learn what you did wrong, you apologize, and you don't do it again. On the other hand, if you're just an asshole, then you will probably continue 
continuously mess up on the same things and you won't apologize for them. And another thing I want to acknowledge is that if in your book you have a mix of diverse characters and characters that have been represented, that's completely different than someone who used diversity as a checklist. It is hard to make sure that every single character in your book has been represented. On the other hand, if you have a book with one black character or with one gay character, you just have one diverse character. It's not even really a diverse book because nah, that doesn't count, okay? I think that for an introduction to the series, this video basically got at what I want to say, which is that diversity and representation are different. And that is what I wanted to emphasize with this video and to give you all a basic understanding of what diversity and representation are and what it means to try and what it means to just be an ass. As videos continue to come out, they probably will get more in depth but I wanted to start off with something more simple so that I really was just giving a basic overview because the entire point of this series is to try to be as simple as possible to really give people the foundation of allyship before I get into all the nitty-gritty stuff with nuances and intersections. If you are looking to be an ally, I have a video on allyship that I will link down below but Here's the thing, we can only control our own actions. We can't control the actions of someone else, no matter how hard we might want to at times. So the only person who's in your control is you, and whereas you can try to correct people and educate people, they might not always be receptive. So what I ask of you all is that you do your best. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was one of my more serious ones, but I think that these videos need to be made because whereas I love having my light videos where I just discuss books, I also want to tackle important issues at the same time, so I'm trying to balance out my channel with both styles of videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy. And please comment down below if you have any other thoughts about this because as I said, this was very simple. So if you want to give some more detail or if you have any other questions, I can, to the best of my ability, try to answer them. As usual, all of my social media and my goodies will be in the description below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are having a lovely day in wherever you are. Please remember you're beautiful and you deserve the world. And I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Goodbye!